flow. In this lecture, I will prove the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem relates to a right triangle like this. A right triangle is a triangle in which one of its angles is 90 degrees. The, this angle is 90 degrees, so it is a right triangle. And uh, actually, the uh, theorem says that uh, the square of the hypotenuse, the square of the hypotenuse equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars or in mathematical notation c square equals to a square plus b square i will repeat again the theorem says that the square of the hypotenuse equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars c square equals to a square plus b square uh, in order to prove the theorem uh, we actually built a copy of this right triangle here in the left of the picture and uh, actually, I built uh, side A along side B. It is in the same straight line. Uh, that is to say, side B and side A is on the same line line and uh, I raised uh, a perpendicular in size of B to side A. So actually side A of the right triangle equals to side A a in the left triangle and side B in the right triangle equals to side B in the left triangle. And uh, actually we have here two triangles, two right triangles that are equal in two sides, side A and side B. And they are also equal, equal uh, in uh, the angle between side A and side B. The angle <coughs> between side A and side B in the right triangle equals to the angle between side A and side B in the left triangle. So, because of the fact that we have two triangles that are equal to each other in two sides and uh, one angle <coughs> one and the angle between the two sides <coughs> we can say that the two triangles coincides to each other the right triangle coincides to the small triangle, to the left triangle. Okay. So, and because they coincide to each other, this side must be side C according to the rule 
uh, uh, that uh, says the corresponding uh, sides in a uh, In uh, coincides uh, triangles are equal to each other. So if this side is C, this side must be also C. Now suppose that uh, we call to the angle between side A and side C, alpha. Then the angle between side A and side C in the left triangle must be also alpha. According to the rule of uh, corresponding uh, angles between uh, coincides uh, triangles triangles are equal to each other so this angle is 90 degrees and suppose that uh, we call the angle between side B and side C in the right uh, triangle as X because we don't know the size of this angle so we will call it X but we do know that in every triangle in the world the sum of its angles must be 180 degrees. So, in the right triangle, alpha plus 90 plus x equals 180 degrees. So, we can write it down. Alpha plus 90, degree, 90 degrees plus x equals 180 degrees. Okay, alpha plus 90 degrees plus x equals to 180 degrees because the sum of the three angles in every triangle must be 180 degrees. Here we can deduct from both of the sides of the equation 90 degrees. We will get that alpha plus x equals to 90 degrees ok alpha plus x equals to 90 degrees now we will deduct alpha from both sides of the equation both sides of the equation so we will get that x equals to 90 degrees minus alpha Okay, after we deducted, after we subtracted alpha from both sides of the equation, we got that x equals to 90 degrees minus alpha. So we can write here x equals to 90 degrees minus alpha.
now so, uh, suppose that we will call the angle between C and C Why? Because we don't know the size of this angle But we do know that x plus y plus alpha equals to 180 degrees because in every straight line the sum of its angles in one side is 180 degrees. So if you look on uh, the straight line that uh, passes along A and B, the sum of its angles in the upper side is 180 degrees. So x plus y plus alpha equals to 180 degrees. And so it's the sum of the angles in the bottom line is also 180 degrees. Okay, so we write it down. x plus y plus alpha equals to 180 degrees. The sum of the angles of straight line on one side is always 180 degrees and in both sides of course is 360 degrees now we know that x equals to 90 minus alpha so we can subtract x by 90 minus alpha So we substituted x by 90 minus alpha because x equals to 90 minus alpha and here minus alpha plus alpha equals to 0 so we can eliminate alpha from the equation So, 90 degrees plus y equals 180 degrees. For we, so here we can subtract 90 degrees from both, side, both sides of the equation. Then we will get that y is equal to 90 degrees. y equals to 90 degrees. Okay, so if you look in the middle triangle, we see that the angle Y equals to 90 degrees, so the angle triangle is a right triangle. Okay. Uh, we 
מחייב עם אטרפיז, אטרפיז is a square with pair sides that are parallel to each other, side A is parallel to side B, and uh, because, uh, as I already told you, side B in the left triangle is perpendicular to side A, so side A is, is parallel to side B. So we will calculate the area of this trapeze in two ways and then actually the result in the first calculation will be the same as the result in the second calculation so we will compare the results in this way we will create a new equation and from that equation we will derive the Pythagorean theorem so now we will calculate the area of this triangle in the first way we will call the area S the area of the trapeze will be called as SS S equals the area of a trapeze equals to the sum of its parallel sides A is parallel to B so the sum of A plus B A plus B times the height of the trapeze the height of the trapeze is also A plus B and we divide all the whole expression by 2 so this is the first expression of the area of the trapeze. The area of, of the trapeze equals to the sum of its parallel sides times its height divided by 2. Now we calculate the area of the trapeze in a second way. The area of the trapeze is actually is the sum of the areas of the three triangles that the trapeze composed of. It is the sum of the area of the right triangle plus the area of the middle triangle plus the area of the left triangle. So we will calculate the area of each of the three triangles, we will add them and in this way we will get the area of the trapeze because the trapeze composed of three triangles, one, two, three and the area of the trapeze is the area of, it is the sum of the areas of the, those three triangles. So the area of the right triangle is actually the base of the triangle times the height to that base divided by 2. So the base of the triangle is B, the height of the, to the base is A divided by 2. So BA divided by 2 is the area of the right triangle. The area 
of the middle triangle equals to the base of the triangle times the height to that base divided by 2. The base of the triangle is C, the height to this base is also C and divided by 2. So it is actually the area of the middle triangle is C times C divided by 2 or C squared divided by 2. <coughs> and the area of the left triangle also equals to the base of the left triangle uh, times the height to this base divided by 2. So the base of the triangle of the left triangle is A, the height to, to this base is B divided by 2. So in total it is A times B divided by 2. So, and the sum of the three uh, areas of the three triangles is the area of the trapeze. So, as you can see here, the sum of the areas of the three triangles will be the area of the trapeze. And this, uh, that is to say, the uh, area of the right triangle is BA divided by 2 plus the area of the middle triangle is C squared divided by 2 plus the area of the left triangle is A times B divided by 2. So, uh, the sum of the areas of uh, those uh, three triangles is the area of the uh, trapeze. Now we know that the first expression equals to the second expression because both of them uh, actually express the uh, is the uh, area of the uh, same trapeze, of course. So we will create a new equation that says that expression 1 equals to expression 2. Okay, so a plus b times a plus b divided by 2 equals to b a divided by 2 plus c times c divided by 2 plus a b divided by 2 so this equation says that expression 1, the area of the trapeze in the first calculation, equals to the area of the trapeze in the second calculation. The area of the trapeze in the first calculation was the sum of its parallel sides times the height of the trapeze divided by 2, and those area of the trapeze equals to the area of the trapeze when we calculated it in the second way as a sum of the areas of the three tra uh, triangles that the uh, trapeze composed of. It is the sum of the area of the right triangle that is B times A divided by 2 plus the area of the uh, middle triangle that is C times C divided by 2 plus the area of the left triangle that is a times b divided by 2. So we will multiply the two sides of the equation by 2.
So we multiplied the two sides of the equation by two. Now BA plus AB is 2AB and C times C is C squared. So we will write it down. So A plus B times A plus B equals to 2AB plus C squared. Now we will open the brackets in the left side of the equation. So we open the brackets and A times A is A squared, A times B is AB, B times A is BA, and B times B is B squared. All equals to 2AB plus C squared. Now AB plus BA is 2AB. We write it. So we have here 2AB plus A squared plus 2AB plus B squared equals to 2AB plus C squared. We can uh, subtract 2AB from both sides of the equation. So we got here that a squared plus b squared equals to c squared, and that is exactly the Pythagorean theorem that says that the square of the hypotenuse equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars. Okay. And so we can uh, summarize the, the proof of the Pythagorean theorem. We add the right triangle here, in the right side of the picture. We make a copy of the right triangle here, in the small side of the picture. Then we found the angles of the right triangle and we found out that the angle of the middle triangle uh, Y is 90 degrees, so we have here three right triangles. Then we actually calculated the area of a trapeze, in th this trapeze in two ways. A trapeze is a square with pair sides that parallel to each other and we calculated the area of the trapeze in two ways. The first way is the, the area of the trapeze uh, equals to the sum of the parallel sides times the height of the trapeze divided by 2 as you can see here. A plus B times A plus B divided by 2 and we also calculated the area of the trapeze in the second uh, way we said that the area of the trapeze is actually uh, equals to the sum of the areas of the three triangles 
the right triangle, the middle triangle, and the left triangle, the three triangles that the trapeze composed of. So the area of the trapeze in the second way is the area of the right triangle plus the area of the middle triangle plus the area of the left triangle. So we developed it this. So the area of the trapeze in the first calculation equal to the area of the trapeze in the second calculation. And after we developed uh, this equation, we got to the final uh, result, that is the Pythagorean theorem, that says that the right of the hypotenuse, uh, uh, the right of the uh, hypotenuse equals to the sum of the squares to, uh, of the perpendiculars. Okay. Thank you very much.